Yes, you got a lot of different uh, movies about the conflict between Israel and, and Palestine and all that thing. But I think, first of all, this, this conflict is much more universal, as I said before, uh, which is not, it's not only about Israel and Palestine. That's why uh, Dancing Arabs right now getting attention from all over the world and from a great audience and still it's, it not, it's not out yet in theaters. But uh, if we go to back to the question it's itself, what separates this film from other films that deal with the same issues, with the identities, with problems, with... But uh, this film, for the first time, I think, that it deals with identity problem in on, and, and a strictive way, and this is what it is. And for the first time, we deal with it through children's eyes. We never thought of uh, uh, the conflict or uh, uh, political issues through children's eyes. We, uh, we usually forget uh, children's. We think that we know everything. We think that we, we, are, we are in the know of things and children's need to learn from us. So in, throughout this film you see the conflict through children's eyes and through uh, the development of this, uh, this you know, uh, kind of a treatment to, to young people. And what happens in the movie, which is you see the children. Children don't care about politics. They don't know what is politics. Politics is just an idea. Identity is just an idea. And for the first time you see it like this. People, the, the children doesn't know until they get to school. And in school they get strict you. They, 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 to, they tell you how to act, what is the ideas that you need to have, uh, what is the think, sort of thinking that you need to develop. So that's why I'm saying it's much more fundamental than just an identity problem because, because this is an idea. I, identity for me is a look. You look black, uh, brown eyes, that's your identity. My, that's my identity. I don't have... it's an idea. Uh, um, uh, to say, uh, you know, I'm an Israeli, it's an idea. Uh, to say I'm a Palestinian, it's an idea. But we... and it's a useful method. We developed it. And it's a useful method not to get bored of this world. Because if we always cease to, you know, to, to know that we are not different really, we are the same, it's not, uh, it's not interesting. So it's a, it's a great method, but w when we forgot that it's uh, just a method and it's just a playing, it's just a game, we start to get on top of things and we start the hate thing. And we start to wanting to vanish each another. And that's not good because we don't see ourselves as one, you know? At the very end, if, uh, if I'm getting violent uh, and, and kill other people, I'm killing myself because I'm the same process. Imagine uh, uh, an apple tree and apples fighting with each other. We're the same. There's earth and earth peoples. And when you use violence, that means something is going wrong in, in the organism itself destroying itself so that's what happening and that's it basically see that's the problem that we think that we need to control the world I mean if we look back if we if we really sit down and just watch what's going on you see that you're here sitting right next to me and I'm here I'm still growing my hair while talking to you breathing millions of cells taking care of what's whatever they taking care of um, digesting my food everything is going on without my interruption it's in sp spontaneous action I don't need to interrupt with it but in so take the life life is a spontaneous a a thing life is an organism and it's going bang all the time and there's no meaning and when you interrupt with a, s a spontaneous process you you just suffocate yourself and you hurt yourself and you uh, diminish the thing you, you not diminish but you stop the the spontaneous process cold because you tell it wait 
you, I need to change it. I need, this is not good. And this is what happening with boundaries and borders and nationalities. We said, okay, we are here, but we need to uh, control the thing, to uh, be one up on the world. Because if we don't, the world is going to vanish when we're going to die. And what, where is this brought us to try to depend on oil, on food? on things that are not really doing us any good, on systems that not doing us any good, like po politics. So he's saying basically what's, what you're asking, that it's a wishful thinking, that we need this. But I think it's totally irrelevant, because millions of years ago we didn't know anything, we weren't existing, and then we came. And then we didn't know much about the world and we didn't know that there's things that we don't know. And now we know much more. We know that the land I was born into, it's the same land you were born into. It's the same organi organism. It's the same repetition of things, you know. And nowadays we need uh, uh, to let it happen. So if you say, yeah, we don't have army, we don't have... Uh, politi politics and everything, who's going to take care of things? Our instincts, we have it already. We don't need a, a political power in order to uh, control things. And Because you see, the system has been made to control things and, and to resolve problems. You tell me, is it pres resolving problems? Never. Why? Because it's, it never goes with the instinct. It's always going through the past and the future. Let's say Israel, for the sake of argument, Israel and Palestine problem. Why is it isn't solved yet? It's 65 years. Why? Because the, the, the politician, the systems, uh, is working too slow. It's always talking about the past, the future, and never now never about the actual will moment and people give the authority to this people and they say yeah they will take care of it and we think that we will arrive to such a time that it will be good to have the change but no if we're gonna change we need to let it happen not control it you're asking me why i i got this perspective how i got this perspective on life I think mostly because I'm, prim I'm rather primitive, what you might say. I'm, I'm really primitive. I'm not sophisticated in educational system. I wasn't in an educational system. I was at the boarding school. I, I didn't learn. I didn't adapt to a real regular society because a regular society uh, fits you in a games and, and give you an ideas about the world which is not right, which is not... Re relevant let's say you and at first it happens when you grow up you you were born and you everybody remembers you yourself you remember yourself as a child asking mil millions of questions mom what is this what is this what is this what is that and you need to know things and then you get to school and then before you get to school people your father and mother tells you who you are and when you act in a different way you, they will tell you uh, Taufik, that's not you. Uh, they start to form you. And then you go to school. And what do you do in school? First day of school, competition. The, the, the first moment they divide you from one to each other, you know. You need, to, uh, you be, need to be better than the other person. They give you the idea. The very fact, the idea that you are a, a better person than anybody else, it doesn't mean anything. It's nothing. It's in your head. It's in our society's head. And they get you fascinated by this idea that you need to be better. And that's why every company, every person, every, uh, you know, uh, 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 politician, his goal is to make the world a better place. Because that's what we've been brought up into. But the very fact you can't do anything about that because you and other people are the same and you're not good as, as you're not better than, than other people. So, and, you, and so you go on and get fascinated by this 
whole system. And if you get, they get you fascinated enough, you go to the college. And after college, you go running, you still have that thing that, you know, to reach something, and to have agenda and ideas. And by the time you get 40, 40 or 45, we have that term, uh, 40, 40 years of, uh, how do you call it, uh, uh, a breakdown 40 years old. When you're 40 years old, there's uh, mostly people get uh, depressed about their lives, uh, things about their lives, about mistakes that they do. Why? Because they got so fascinated by the games that our society developed that we fig all of a sudden you say, okay, I did the whole thing, but I was cheated because I was living for always for somewhere else that I'm not and I was trying to read something that it's doesn't even exist I just needed to live so that's why the reason I ha I talk this way and I have this perspective and my, and my and my other people not and those perspective that we have we d adapted it from Westerners and I'm so sorry that it's it separates so much to all over the world, even in awaken, awaken in uh, uh, places like India, like uh, uh, China, the places where people were awaken, where people were doesn't have those ideas. Nowadays they have it. Nowadays we we the, everybody acts on it. Everybody wants it, and I can't do anything about it unless we need to go back to our first instinct which is I'm this living organism and nothing else